Feeling peckish? Don't know what to cook? Then you've come to the right spot. With old mate and the other half. It's food time here at Old Mate's Non-Tech Channel. Hey, how are we? It is food time here at Old Mate's Non-Tech Channel with Old Mate and the other half. It is Saturday night here. And, uh, well, this video was slightly unplanned, which is probably the reason I didn't say anything about it, because we sort of made the decision to make these, well, like the Savo. Now, what are we making, hun? Pinwheels. We are making pinwheels. Look at that brute strength. It's because I'm tough. That too. <laughs> so just for you, I well, open it upside down. <clears throat> Alright, so we have tomato paste. Upside down. A red capsicum, or for my US viewers, red pepper. We have bacon with rind. We have garlic, all important garlic. Uh, and mixed herbs along with, which is over the back there, some, um, what is it? Puff pastry. Puff pastry. Oh, and, uh, yeah, cheese. The all-important cheese. So, we sort of couldn't figure out if we'd done a video on this in the past, and we hadn't. And, uh... So we'll have this nice, nice pinwheels. They sort of look like um, rolled up pizzas. Yes? Kinda. Kinda. The chef of the house, everybody. Mm. Only the fact that you've been cooking the last. Shush, don't tell them that. He cooks every night. Don't tell them that. Because I work my... They know that. Don't tell them I've been cooking. <laughs> Bad luck, they all know. Can someone please defend old mate? Never. I wasn't talking to you. Never going to happen. I was not talking to you. Never going to happen. I can just not talk again. Okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. There you go. Capsicums. Or red peppers for my US viewers. We call them capsicums. Holy hell! People think my car sounds loud. Yeah, but you don't drive yours like an idiot. You're never in the car. <laughs> okay, I'll rephrase that. You don't fly up streets. Or if you do, and you have a go at me for doing it. No, I have a go at you for doing it because you're dangerous. I'm dangerous? Yeah. Did you hear that? She called me dangerous. All right. Take off in my car too quick. And you get caught doing it. And I get told. Okay. Now, having borne the brunt of that, everybody, we'll come back once she's got all the... Oh, we've also got an onion as well. I've got the all-important onion and garlic powder. Garlic. Yeah, whatever it is. All right, back in a tick. All right, so we've got the capsicum all chopped up. Now we're doing the onions. Hold the camera in the right spot, old mate. Or it doesn't work properly. You should have learned that by now. Been a while since we've done a food video, guys. At least since I've upgraded the main rig and the audio drivers and everything. So hopefully the audio is a lot better off this video camera now that I've got the new EQ settings and everything for it right. Oh, that's got some kick to it. Wow! That goes in the bowl with the uh, 
into capsicum slash red peppers. And this is how I get you to eat vegetables. Don't tell them that. To make you video it. <laughs> so you have to taste it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on everyone, back old mate up here please. No. Any of my viewers from either on both of my channels, can anyone back up old mate? No. Oh, you vague. You have to be healthy to live life longer. And to keep up with me. Yeah. I'll say one thing viewers. Everyone, she does she wants to get moving, the other half will get moving. Don't worry about that. If she wants to get something done, she'll just go do it. Yeah, like the dishes. That's true. I can't see. Oh, it's getting me as well. Good. Oh, hey, Vay, have a listen to it, will you? I okay. Explain that I don't talk. Now you're complaining. Now you're <laughs> you talk about you not being able to win. How do you think I feel? Okay. Now, what do you need? Oh, you need, we also need the all important cheese grater. I don't need that. Yes. Oh dear. There you go. Look at everyone. The other half has the tears in the eyes. She has got the tears in the eyes. I do not. She's, she's struggling. There's that other idiot that does that. They're not idiots. They're just special. <laughs> hear that, everyone? People who drive like idiots are not idiots. They're just... Special. Special. Well, what do you call me? Don't answer that. It's just special. Oh, ruined. You asked for it. Ruined. You keep asking for it. I did well do not. You ask me what I call you. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Alright, so now what we do, we've got the bacon. And this is just uh, bulk supermarket bacon. So we'll get this all sliced up and uh, come back. Alright, so we have the bacon diced and chopped and shredded, whatever you want to call it. We've got the capsicum slash red pepper and onion mix. The tomato paste with garlic in it and now we just need the cheese. Which I have a bowl here for the cheese. We have the cheese grater, which is going to be rather interesting to grate. a better cheese grater. <laughs> And what? no, I don't want it for Christmas. <laughs> I did not say I was going to get it for Christmas, thank you very much. I'm just making sure. Did you hear that she thinks I'm going to get her a cheese grater for Christmas? Good. You have no faith in me, do you? Oh, I wasn't quick enough to get the look. No. Do you really think I'd get you a cheese grater as a Christmas present? Seriously? Well, the fact that you asked me what I want, what? and I give you, like, if I tell you that I want a cheese grater, chances are you might go and buy me a cheese grater. You really? It's what you wanted. <laughs> Not for Christmas. <laughs> oh. I'm not going to show you the look I'm getting at the moment, everyone, but let's just say the other half has a look of uh, contemptuous on her, on her face because she seriously believed, I, even if she asked for a cheese grater, she would seriously believe I'd give her one. No, see, it's, it's a matter of I just say that I need a cheese grater and you go, oh, I don't have anything for her for Christmas. I'll buy her a cheese grater. <sighs> I remember once you bought me a, a um, sandwich press for my birthday. I bought you that nice little one. 
That was. So chances are you could buy no, me a cheese grater. No, I would grater. not buy you a bloody cheese grater. Good grief, woman! It's a kitchen appliance. It is not a kitchen and appliance because you can't plug it in. You go oh, into I could, an. I could, I, could, I could get the electric. <laughs> I'm not that low. Well, in that case, I'm not you will be doing the cooking every night. The fact that she thinks I've been cooking every night, everyone, is technically true. The fact that I Shush. think you've been cooking every night. Just, just quiet. I have been doing some of the cooking, but you see, the, the difference is I've not been doing this sort of cooking. What I've been cooking is like burgers... Roasting chicken thighs, you know, that sort of stuff. Simple stuff. We had chicken thighs? Oh, chicken breasts then. You know, marinated in honey soy sauce or something. Now, do you need a plate for the... They're still a little stuck together, everyone. It's not that they're stuck together, it's that they're frozen. I was trying to be nice. You don't need to watch that go over there. I'm just moving the camera out of the road so you don't hit it. I'll give you some of these. Yeah. Oh, thanks. You are. Maybe some of this. Yes, Taste please. Taste that. <laughs> you could. What, through the camera? No, that'd be a little give more... Give him a taste. That'd be a little more difficult. Technically feasible, but just difficult. smell a vision Taste a vision Taste a vision you mean. Oh, they need to smell them too. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> After what you've done tonight. Oh, I don't want to smell that. Thank you very much. <laughs> like I said, I can stop talking. No, no, no. People have wanted to hear you talk. It's not necessarily always taking the piss out of me. Yeah, they do. Look at the smile on her face. Everyone really. wants to hear that. Oi, Faye. Who would not want to hear me doing that? There'd be a couple of people who'd probably say it's a bit harsh. I can guarantee none of your mates would. No, probably not. They'd be cheering me on. Yeah, yeah it doesn't mean you have to do it. Yeah, it does. Oh, see, you know, you try to be nice and... I'm being nice. I was talking about me. Oi! I saw that. Alright, so now what she's got to work out is, because these are still slightly frozen. I've got to let them sit for a few minutes. We've got to let them sit for They're a few minutes. We're going to have to come back. We're going to have to come back. Right. Okay, right. We're going to let these sit for a few minutes. And then I can clean up. And then she can do a little bit of dusting. <laughs> I can go do some study while I'm waiting for them to That's thaw true. Out. She can also do that. So we're going to let these thaw out and uh, we will be back once they have thawed out a little bit more. We've been out for a couple of hours. No, they haven't. How long have they been out? About 10, 20 minutes at the moment. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. If they had been out a couple of hours, uh, they would be really thawed out. Okay. Um, on that note, we'll come back once she can start putting these things together type thing. All right, well, about five, ten minutes later, I think, now. And the uh, pastry has defrosted enough to be malleable. I think that's the terminology we use now. It's soft. There you go. You heard it from the other half. It's soft. And these make... What? How many do you get out of those? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So, I'll video how she does one, and then... Basically just making like a pizza and then rolling it up. Yeah, there you go. That's how you do it. Except you'll notice with this guys there's no um, pepperoni going in in those. That would be not easy. No, I know it would actually it would have been very difficult.
mash all this together. I would have put other things in it, but you won't like it. The other thing the other half makes really well too, guys, which we'll probably do another food video here at Old Mate's Non-Tech Channel sometime soon, is homemade sausage rolls. And I can tell you now, guys, they are phenomenal. Mum recipe. Yeah, it's one of her mum's recipes, and they are absolutely the duck's guts. And, like, we, we get, you know days out of them. You get longer if you didn't eat them all. That is true. But it's red meat, darling. She's <laughs> all right. Then the all important cheese. Technically you could have these as very big pizzas as well, but I don't know how well they'd actually work. I've done, done it as pockets. Oh, before. we have, yes, we have done them as pockets. Which I don't think I did a video on. Mm -hmm. Either here or over on the main channel. Okay. Yeah. Don't think we want that. Really smart ass. I was just making a reminder, a reminder comment. That was all. I wasn't trying to be a smart ass. Oh, I better not do that. I could make a mess of things. And you haven't washed your hands. That too. And. That's how you do it. Alright. So she'll go and do the rest of them now. So that's how that's how they're done, guys. And then you just cut but I'm not gonna do that yet. No, don't do that yet. So alright, we'll go and get the rest of these all put together. We'll come back and uh so here we go. Uh, we came up a little short on the uh, the cheese for the last two. So we've got two so far. So what she made in the way of um, capsicum and slash red pepper and bacon along with the sauce uh, came out good. Plenty of that. Just. Just. But as you can see, that's what they end up looking like, guys. We'll call these pizza pinwheels. And knowing the other half, guys, I mean, you know, we all know she can cook. Sometimes. <laughs> How many times have you marked up a recipe or stuffed up cooking for us, darling? There was one in the video. Yeah, there was. But that was just a minor hiccup. So, alrighty. Well, now... Theoretically, uh, depending on how big you cut these, will be however many you get. This is just ordinary run-of-the-mill, just puff pastry. It's no, no fancy. Um, yeah, because you pick on me because I buy the cheap stuff. That's not what I was going to say. I buy cheap stuff. <laughs> Why well, buy expensive stuff when you can get it, get more pieces for less price? That's not always the case. Um... Depending on how how many how thick you cut these will depend on how many you get out of them too, guys. So just bear that in mind. Ooh, good grief! Okay, you're gonna need a lot of cheese. This was a uh, this is just store cold Cheap brand, cheese. and its weight was I've got no idea grams. half a kilo, and we've probably used a bit over half of it. But I like cheese. I oh, know you do, Lizzie. I'm cheesy. Yeah. She said that, not me. You agree. I did not. I said nothing of the sort, thank you very much. I didn't say you did. I said you do agree. I. 
You see viewers, unfortunately the other half, as much as I love her, does unfortunately know me too bloody well. That was a rhetorical comment. You weren't meant to agree. All right, back shortly. All right, now the other half has just told me to say to you guys, or inform you guys, I should say, you can actually put whatever you want in these things. So it doesn't just have to be what this. That one's mine. Okay, so that one's the other half. Um, and also don't let your pastry sit too long or it tends to turn into a brick. No, it just goes as dry as out. It's dry as a brick. There we go. Now, we'll see how far, how wide the other half cuts these. So you're looking at about half an inch in the Imperial. Uh, about half an inch. And they're not going to be round. And it does not, not, it does not matter if they're not going to be round. And as far as cooking them, guys, We've got our old oven set to uh, around 200 degrees Celsius. I'll have to figure out what that is in Fahrenheit. So, we'll get these cut up, we'll be back. Alright, bit of baking paper on the tray. And then you basically stand them up like that. And hope they work. And hope they work. They'll work. Alrighty, well, I don't know, we'll get all these on the tray, and then once they're on the tray, we'll uh, we'll come back with how long to put them in. I'd, I'd assume you'd only need to put them in for about 10 minutes, guys. So, alright, back in the tick. Alrighty, so there we go. We're going, to, we're going to have to cook these in two batches, because we don't exactly have a massive oven tray. You just put them on the oven tray like that, make sure whatever you're not cooking stays wrapped up to try and keep it, sort of stop it running dry. And then they can be put into the oven. So 200 degrees Celsius, I'll have to figure out what that is in Fahrenheit. And in they go. Alrighty, we'll come back in 10 minutes. Oh dear. Well they're not ready. They've sort of collapsed a little bit, but yeah. We'll see how they go. Alright, well they took about half an hour in our oven, but at 200 odd degrees of what you guys have seen is 392 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. They could go a bit longer. They could go a little bit longer if you wanted them to. but. And they haven't puffed up like they should. No. That'll do me. Oh, give, You've give me, eaten them all. Give me the little one. I'll use that for the taste test. Okay, I'll hand the camera over to the other half. Oh. They're hot. Yeah, like, oh, are they? Oh, I am still this way. Ow. That's a good idea, old mate. Stop using your knees. Stop using your knees. He eats with his knees. Mm. You said it. You didn't have to agree with it. Mm. He doesn't like him. I didn't say that. <laughs> and you were worried they weren't going to work. She was worried off camera while well, these been cooking, guys. It wasn't going to work. Well, they haven't. Oh, for crying out loud. They are awesome. They are really, really good, guys. So there you go. They're pinwheel-ish. All right? They're pinwheel-ish. But there you go. Pizza pinwheels by the other half. And we don't, we don't have to cook that lot yet as well. But uh, there we go, guys. Anyway, there we are. Off the uh, off the cuff food time video here at Old Man's Non Tech Channel with Old Man and the other half. Have a good one.